Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and uh, I was working on my new weekly newsletter, which you can subscribe by going to that URL above me here. And I do this every week, and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I have a hotkey for this? So let me let me show my desktop here and, and break down what I was doing. In my newsletter, I put in links to pictures of, you know, of a funny mem or what's going on or whatever. And uh, I store those on my website. And here I'm using WinSCP as my FTP protocol so I can go in there and grab the path to where the file is located. And the thing is, in WinSCP, I, I can never remember the hotkey because it's just not what I'm familiar with. So I would right click and come out here to copy file names. And I would do this one, copy to clipboard, include paths. Right now this, let me bring this over here to site and just paste it. And you'll see it's interesting is it it sort of gives me what I need. However, what I need is an H HTTPS here, colon, slash, slash, instead of just the one. And then this public HTML, this is, it's hard to, honestly, I don't fully understand it other than I understand how it works, but why it's done, I don't know. But it's involved, every every system apparently when you store stuff on the web, you'll have this like plug, public HTML that you don't want in your path, otherwise it breaks. So you got to remove that and that. Now this would actually load, and I can take this, um, if I put this URL, um, it, here is, here was a picture of an earlier shot of my office that were being built. Now, what I also realized, which I haven't implemented yet, was I, I want to wrap this in HTML. So why, why write, have to write the HTML every time around that? So I haven't done that part yet, but let me walk through and show you what I have done. So I, here we go, studio. So I said, Hey, if, if the active window is this win SCP, when I hit Control Shift C, now Control Shift C, I use um, in several different programs to get past this thing. So if it's in my Explorer window, it will give me the path through the selected files. If I'm in, and I forget, there's another one I have where it does something. But now in WinSCP, because to me, I'm like, hey, I want the path to that file. But hey, if WinSCP is running, if it's the active window, do something else. And hey, you know what? I don't have to remember the damn hotkey, you know, what is it? I can read it here. Control Alt C, right? I just send Control Alt C. So I remember my Control Shift C, which is what works for me, and it's my hotkey, but I'm going to send that hotkey. Um, I'm going to wait a second, or excuse me, one tenth of a second. Um, and then I'm going to take, we could put, let's put here, just for testing purposes, message box, percent clipboard. Now this is going to show us what's in there. And then, you know what, instead of running it, Let's put a message box after. Now what, now that I think about this, what I also might want to do is back up the clipboard before all of this and then restore the clipboard after. Because even though I'm using my clipboard as a quick and easy way to do this, there's no reason to lose what I had originally in my clipboard, but I'll save that for a later time. Right here though, I said, hey, this front part, I just studied it. This front part, when, when that is there, if I replace it with this, that will give me what I need. Um, and what I that's when I realized also, you know what, I should throw in the HTML too. But for now, let's baby step into this, right? So I'm going to relaunch this. Um, now, if I hit Control-Shift-C, let me let me show you here. If I have a, here and if I have a file, Control-Shift-C does one thing. It copies the path to that file for me. However, if I come back into here and I pick a different thing, say Control-Shift-C, it goes and sends the different hotkey to win SCP for me. Now this is what is right now on my clipboard, but because of this string replace right here, this next line, it's gonna replace this part with this. So this is gonna give me the actual URL and I uppercase the automator, not that anyone ever sees this, but I'd, I'd rather have it uppercase. So why not have that part of my program, right? And now the next one is just gonna run it. So it should launch on the other screen, but that was this one which is really fitting for me, by the way. Uh, yeah, I, my code may not be the best in the world, but it works. So now let's, let's add the next step. Now, because in the HTML, let's go back to site. See, I use site for a lot of other things. I just don't program in an auto hotkey anymore, but I use it for a lot of other stuff. And in my newsletter, I actually write it here in HTML. And uh, it's actually a process. What I do is I write it in Word first, and then there's a website where I can go paste the, the word and it transforms it into HTML for me, and then I make tweaks in the HTML. So what I need to do is to add this this part right here, this to the left and this to the right. So 
because these have double quotes and that can be very, not problematic, but just to me confusing. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna copy this um, and let's, we're gonna, let's, let's baby step through it, okay? So message box, let's say clipboard. Equal, now here's a trick. In the version one one point whatever of auto hockey instead of version two, you can do this when you have double quotes. So I'm going to put put that there, and then clipboard, and I might need to put that in. Yeah, that probably should, needs to be in percents. Let's see if this will work. So I'm going to save this, relaunch it. Yeah, it worked. And then come over here into WinSCP, Control Shift C. Now I don't really want to see. I'll get rid of this message box next time through. Now notice here, so look at this, here's my image, source equals, and then the, because this is so long, it did a line break, but that's that's just a, a stupid message box thing. I really should dump this to the output window. So let's let's go back into here. Let me get rid of this guy. And in this, instead of this one, you know what, I don't want to lose. Cut that. Um, screen for getting it here. And I'm going to get rid of the run, because now the run won't work because I'm adding that HTML. So let me relaunch this. Just so we can see it. I, like I said, I like the baby step, make little changes, control shift C, and now see it down here. Now it's not, oh, look, it actually did have a space there. So I want to get rid of that space because that would have broken things. Uh, yeah, because it's, I get, um, and now come back into here and grab what's over here, right? Copy that, paste it there, save it, reload it, come into here. Let's pick a different one just for fun. Control Shift C. And there we go. Look at that. That is exactly what I need to go into the, the thing. And this one, you know, it's going to be a variable. Sometimes I adjust it, but I don't care, right? It's, it's a placeholder for me. It allows me, it already has a default value. And I'll look at it and I might adjust it. But this is really cool. So now I've just streamlined that creating of the HTML. And I'm also, by the way, using QAP. So in here, like, let's, let's put this here just so, uh, I don't want to do it in here. Let's do this. And back over in this one. Um, QAP is awesome. A uh, quick access pop up. And here, my newsletter, HTML. Here are a bunch of things like my banner. Um, this you has my HTML. You need to connect. Alexis um, so I don't have to remember. I don't have to go find my templates, right? QAP is great for that. So for an HTML, a lot of stuff in HTML, or I even have one. Let's see, let me show you the one other one that maybe I'll make a video on at some point. What I need though is to come to site and unfortunately the script's not running, but I'll run it here in a second. So see this right here? This is a, the video. What I do is I highlight that. Let me let me launch my, my script first. HTML, newsletter, HTML, YouTube image. So I'm gonna launch that. And now when I hit my hotkey, it's going to go, look at that URL. Oh, it, it should have uh, come back. So for some reason, oh, it's not launched. It looks like it crashed. That's interesting. I've never had that happen. Of course, because I'm you know, recording a video. Newsletter, uh, HTML, YouTube image. Let's try this again. Okay, it's running now. I can see it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick here. Here's this, this one. I'm going to hit my hotkey. That's interesting. Oh, I know what's going on. I forgot to add a, a return. So um, it's funny. Good good lesson learned, right? Let me, let me, I'm going to cheat because I don't, actually Studio had it open. So, um, although I closed it, but it, well, let me just, let me do this. I'm going to relaunch it. Newsletter, um, HTML, YouTube image. Now it's running. You can't see it. It's on the other screen. I'm going to hit edit. And... When I, I have it now because I have multiple videos in my thing where it does an API on kind those of stuff, but I added the escape app down here. And I think it's just, let me add a return there. I think it's, it's when I launch it, when it, when it runs, it's getting to that and it's getting into this escape and exiting out of it. Uh, but it actually was putting it onto the clipboard, which is what I had wanted. I just wasn't looking here in, in uh, studio where it dumps it, but it also dumps it to the clipboard. So let me come back into here, relaunch it. Oh, that's funny. I launched the HTML. There we go. Relaunched it. Come back into here. Let's highlight a thing. Hit my hotkey. 
There we go. See, now my first title, now it's on the clipboard. Now, if I was to go in here and paste, this has, and what that does is it goes and gets the thumbnail of that video and writes and wraps it with the HTML for me. And so it's just a great time saver. So if you're doing stuff with HTML or, or something like that, where you constantly are wrapping things with, with stuff, text manipulation is so easy with auto hotkey, especially like that little trick I showed you with, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a hack. A lot of people would, would nay say against it and just say, buckle up buttercup and use the double quotes, you know, double, double quotes on things. Uh, I just find it very unsightly. So I don't like to do that approach. Um, I like to just do it kind of fake it the way I showed you here. And yeah, that'll go away at some point when I switch to version two, but you know what, for now, it's a great simple way to avoid this whole overall double, double quoting crap. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope you're automating things, but please like this video. It really helps uh, get more views. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Cheers.